Competing on Bravo's Top Chef, he became a culture icon. Now, Chef Eric Ajapong is visiting cultural sites in Bermuda. The Bermuda Tourism Authority reached out to me in response to my transatlantic slave trade dinner and wanted me to come out and do the same thing here uh, next January, so I'm really excited. Chef Eric is researching history out here to prepare for Bermuda Restaurant Week's 2020, when he'll create a meal recounting Bermuda's four centuries of heritage and culture. So we went to the Windy Bank Farms and I linked up with the Burmese chefs over there. Chefs! So I'm really excited to work with them. They're gonna be helping me out as almost a collaboration. The collaboration will be a meld of gastronomic old and creative new. This is the pawpaw. This is the pawpaw. <laughs> My family, every Thanksgiving, every Christmas, this is pawpaw casserole. The seeds, when they're immature, they're actually white. So I pickled them. Yes. Let them sit for like an uh, let them sit for like a day, and then I took them out and then I deep fried them. So it was like a like Smart. like a fried caper. I like that. Like for me, it's like sweet. For me, it's like spicy, and they like salty. So if you can somehow get a bunch of those things together in any form in a dish and make it look bright and colorful at the same time, I think that's true Bermudian cuisine. So I'm gonna leave, construct my menu, um, make sure I, I come back with uh, some heat for you guys. 